Good day, welcome to Daily News Update on Flip TV. My name is Peace Olad for the headlines. September deadline for NIN SIM linkage sacrosanct, says National Identity Management Commission. Former Senate Minority Whip Umokocha is Labour Party caretaker secretary. CBN reports shows first business expansion in 13 months. Brilliant Umwogo claims silver with dislocated shoulder. Now the news. The authorities of the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, has reminded Nigerians and the Guru residents that the September 14th deadline by the federal government for the linkage of the National Identity Number, NIN, with subscribers' identity modules remains sacrosanct. The commission said its equipment and workers in the over 10,000 registration outlets across the country and in the diaspora are working seamlessly without each for the enrollment, verification and authentication and modification of data. In a statement by its head of corporate communications, Dr. Kayade Adeboke, maintained that all the services are also going on seamlessly to meet the needs of Nigeria for the NIN SIM linkage deadline. Adeboke said the commission was committed to providing excellent and world-class identity management services to Nigerians and legal residents. To politics, Senate Minority Whip in the 10th Assembly, Senator Darlington Uokocha has emerged secretary of a 29-member National Caretaker Committee of the Labour Party. Uokocha's appointment was announced by Mr. Peter Obi, the former Labour Party presidential candidate, following the party's extended stakeholder meeting at the banquet hall of the Abia State Government House on Wednesday in Umwaya, state capital. The 29-member LP National Caretaker Commitment is chaired by Senator Nenadi Esther Usman, a former Minister of Finance, Uokocha representing Abia Central Senatorial District, was elected Senator on the platform of the Labour Party in the 2023 general election. Uokocha was later elected the Minority Whip Principal Officer of the 10th Senate and Vice Chairman Senate Committee on the NDDC but left the Senate after six months of following the decision of the National Assembly Election Petition Appeal Court. To business, the Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, reports for August shows that businesses recorded their first expansion in 13 consecutive months. The report released yesterday by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, showed that the composite PMI for August 2024 stood at 50.2 index points indicating expansion in economic activities for the first time in 13 consecutive months of contraction. The sectoral breakdowns shows that the service sector recorded expansion for the third consecutive month while the agricultural sector registered expansion for the first month. The industry sector, though contracted, registered a slower contraction when compared to the level recorded in the previous month. According to the 36 subsector reviewed across the industry, services and agricultural sector, 17 subsectors reported growth with primary metal reporting the highest growth during the review month. Also, the remaining 19 subsectors registered a decline, with forestry reporting the highest decline. To sport, Nigerian Paralympics powerlifter Esther Unwogu said. Claiming the silver medal in Paris was like heaven, having dislocated her shoulder just two days ago. Owagu, who lost the use of her legs as a child, only missed out on the gold bench press to defend champions in China in the up to 41 kg category by 1 kilogram. The 21 years old efforts were limited, however, as she was effectively lifting the bar with one arm due to the injury. As an 8 year old, Owagu lost the use of her legs without a clinical reason before then, starting the sport a decade ago. Uwagu is part of a strong Nigerian powerlifting field in the French capital, which includes eight competitors and host of the world record holder. After securing silver and a temporary record, Uwagu fell to the ground with her coach Patience Ngiti, who won a Paralympic silver and bronze medal at Athens in 2004 and then Beijing four years later. That's all on news updates. My name is Pisola Thank you.